just to keep active, keep a keep few of the clients yeah. looking in good shape and uh, still looking in shape. Keep myself in shape, yeah. Are we going to make a comeback? I, I, you know what? <laughs> we were talking about it um, not long ago. I had a friend, he had an unlicensed uh, fight with a decent promoter yeah. down in Bradford, and I looked at the setup and it was amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the 13th and final round podcast. Today, we have a very, very special guest. Former Commonwealth and former IBO. And let's not forget, former MBE. Aye. Jawid. Too yeah. sleep. Yes. Kali. Yes, Jawid. How we yes. doing, Jawid? How we doing? Yes. Yes. I'm, 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 I'm doing well, thanks, man. How have you caught with the lockdown? Let's start there. It's been all right, you know, it's not been too bad. I'm quite lucky. Um, just before lockdown, I built a gym in the backyard. Wow. So wow. I've doing little bits there, <laughs> doing a few private classes on the park. Uh, done as much as I could just to keep active, keep, keep a few of the clients yeah. looking in good shape and uh, still looking in shape. Keep myself in shape, yeah. Are we making a comeback? I, I, you know what? <laughs> we were talking about it. That was a joke. We were talking about it. Um, not long ago, I had a friend, he had an unlicensed uh, fight with a decent promoter yeah. down in Bradford, and I looked at the setup and it was amazing. What's his name? Kami. Yeah. Oh, um, um, what's his name? Seyaf. Yeah. He's got um combat challenge. Yeah. yeah, no, no, he, yeah he, it, it was him as well, but there was... Um, uh, Solid Impact. The other one, the other one. He's involved so, with that. Mind Solid Impact. Solid Impact, yeah. Mind Solid Impact. Has he know he's involved with that? I this know, guy is yeah, no, say, okay. a shrewd say, guy, man. No, 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 no. He's shrewd. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, yeah, yeah. when he finished boxing, you always want to be involved in any, any sport, any boxing. No, but honestly, they, boxing they, they had like three or four thousand people there, yeah. if, if not more. Yeah. Uh, and it was a nice little setup. I think it's combat challenge, yeah. And, and, a couple, and, the, and the mate that knew him quite well said, oh, you know, get a jab of fight, get a jab of fight. And I goes, you know what, I won't mind let him move around. Just Go on, jab. Just let him move yeah. around. Go on. I, I, well, on my own show, Solid Impact. I bet he Solid Impact. Yeah. Um, I, I jumped on it myself. That was yeah. my last fight. Is it? Yeah, you had a boxing time. match in a cage, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, no, it wasn't a cage because we do MMA and kickboxing. I yeah. would do boxing, so we did it in a cage. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. I think, I, think, I think every time I have a good week here, and I'm yeah. like, I feel good. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, I can yeah, still yeah, do it. It's yeah, good, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, it is. We all go through the same thing. I, I don't, we I don't, all the, do. the next year when I'm in pain, I think, you know what? Forget yeah, it, man. Don't look at the same, right? Don't <laughs> be yours. See, it's in the blood, mate. You might be yours. Once you've done that white collar fight, you don't you know it to yourself. That's it now. I've finished boxing. Yeah. I yeah. think every boxer's got to have a little white collar fight afterwards. You think no so? one will think of coming back. Yeah, yeah. Just go into there, pre prepare, which is really hard, and you'll know, think, oh, gosh, it's too much, this. Yeah. And then you say, yeah, I can retire peacefully now. That's why I think. Shugs, sure, you ready for a comeback? It. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, I'm busy. I'm like my man. I'm in the gym. Yeah, we're, we're in the gym regular. Yeah, you know. I think I get the buzz more now yeah. from my 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 guys. The students, yeah. You know yeah. I mean, yeah. But sometimes you think you. I think to you, you tell me. But when I get in, when it's a big setting, you like you get <laughs> up for it. Yeah, yeah. I when I'm in the gym, not so much in the gym, but when when you go to the shows. Yeah, and it's a big, you know, what I mean, there's yeah. this drama that you know, what I mean, mm. bit of music, yeah, yeah. Yeah. especially you know the I mean? music as well, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. the old tune from the from the back in the days, isn't it? <laughs> like like we played tunes we coming down, like, we, 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 that. we were playing, you know, <laughs> the Ministry of Sound. Because yeah, yeah, Nazis are playing out of time. Yeah. You know what what I mean? Oh, check it out, John. This guy, listen, nine about ninety three, and I can't even remember the year exactly. Ninety three, ninety four. Mm. You know, senior ABA champion. This wow, guy wow. has underachieved mm. what a million percent. Mm. And I need to express this. Mm. Nobody does this. Not many that I know. Mm. This guy retired 17 unbeaten before wow. he retired. 17 straight fights. Mm. He was mm. unbeaten. Never went out on no losses. Mm. Mm. 17 fights unbeaten. Wow. You don't mm. understand how, how much of an achievement yeah, yeah, that is. Because yeah. we all boxing retires boxers. Mm. This this mm. guy. Mm. This guy, this boxing didn't retire this choice. guy. Yeah. He retired from boxing. He even boxed an yeah. old friend of ours, Junior yeah. Witter, at the ABAs, wasn't it? Yeah, I boxed Junior Witter just after the ABAs. Oh, after the ABAs. Yeah, yeah right. after I won it in 96. Yeah. Um, they told me, oh, you, you, you could have got this fight. He's, he caught a finalist and 
you know, do you want to take it? And I thought, go on, I'll have another couple of fights before yeah. I turn professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or before I do. It shouldn't be that hard. He, he lost in the thing is, and he was very, very awkward. Bag of tricks. You know, very awkward. Uh, yeah. Bag of tricks, you know. Yeah. As, as most fighters, I felt like I'd done enough, but um, obviously I didn't. And, uh, and, he, and he beat me, and then we ended up in the same camp in Sheffield. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so you yeah. did you train at Ingalls for a bit? Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. in, oh, yeah. in yeah. Brennan Ingalls yeah. for the first three years. Yeah. Um, so I my, missed you then. Three, four years, sorry, after my... Uh, isn't it? You came career. two years after. I came two years after you. Did you? Did, did yeah. this, which, which house are you living? No, I was traveling. Yeah, oh, traveling. I was traveling. Oh, right. I, st- I stayed a few times. Newman Road. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I stayed. I stayed for a couple of weeks before yeah. the Lee Murta yeah. fight. I just oh, did, right. And and before another um, another one title fight, the um, uh, Smith. Um, Smith. Uh, what's his name? Ernie cool. Smith. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, you guys must have been caught very close to each other because he was in Man- he went to spar with Ricky Atten in Manchester when you was over that. Yeah, direction. because was it the Phoenix camp? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's where I started out. Yeah. Oh, is that where you started? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I went up, I went up there three or four times. Wow. Um, just before one of my fights, he was fighting at the same yeah, time, defending yeah. his belt. I was defending my so belt. So you walk in and went in. Did he give you a cup of tea and some no. chewing gum? I went in there and he's he's got somebody. Uh, wiping himself, yeah, wiping yeah, him. Yeah. Somebody filming him from upstairs. Yeah. Somebody giving yeah, him ad- yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, advice. And somebody p- giving him some water. And then there's just me and my trainer. For That's it. Yeah. I'm That's like, I'm in awe. I'm like, oh my gosh. I, I, I can guess how this went. First day of spa and you were a little shaking. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was all over, man. You know, yeah. Yeah. just yeah, attacking me. I was surviving. Time. My, my trainer on the way home, yeah. he was just bollocking me all the way home. Oh, you know, no. oh, you better get in there and sort it out next week. You yeah, know, yeah. Next week we went back and, uh, and I scored him. You know, I was... Wow. I was you see... I was, Slim. A lot better, just, just a lot movement. better. That's all you got to do with him. But yeah, he's just a bit of movement. His name, what friends, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I was giving a bit too much respect yeah, and I was yeah. being a bit too yeah. nice, yeah. Uh, which I was I was always a bit too nice, I think. And mm. after the round or two, when I got hit a couple of times, or you just saw, yeah. I, I, I used to wake up a little bit yeah. and, and get on with me. But the first round, usually I would so, I would just ease into fights. Which other gyms have been in Manchester Spa? Because I used to train at the uh, Pat Barrett gym. I never went, I, I, I went, never I went been there? No, no, I didn't go to there. I went, I went to London a few times. I went to... Shane Neary's in Liverpool. Right, right. I went to um, where was it? Uh, did Did you ever go abroad? Yeah, I went to um, Denmark. Yeah, same. Yes, I went to Denmark, Tenerife, yeah. and uh, France. Yeah. So I went. I went. Wow. Got a few places. Well, Unders- well. Understand this, though. Yeah. Understand this. This guy had an unconventional career, John. Oh, 100%. Listen, listen to me. Senior AB champion. Wow. You know, if this guy was around now, yeah. listen, mm. Mm. this guy was around now, he would have earned a fortune. Yeah, 100%. Eddie Earns brought boxing back. Yeah, Eddie yeah. and I couldn't do nothing but commend him. Wow. And this guy, senior AB champion. Why is this guy is a senior AB champion? If he got it now, he'd have had a million pound definitely, contract. Definitely. So. Senior what, what, Amy champion, my man was on the road. What, 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 why, why, do you, why, why do you no. think is it down to due to management? I, I, I think a lot of boxers come in very naive to the sport and yeah. then they realize all the politics that are involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was the same, I just wanted to do well. I saw boxers doing well, you know, I loved the game. I saw Prince see me, inspired me, and I turned yeah, yeah. professional. Yeah, I, I was well. never going to turn professional, yeah. I just done it as something I loved and a hobby, yeah. and I was doing well. Mm. Uh, and, and everyone was telling you you're a bit old. I was turned twenty. I was turned about twenty-seven. Mm. Joined the Ingle Gym where yeah. Prince Nassim was, mm. thinking, "Oh, I've made it. I've got yeah. to the Ingle Gym." Yeah, we all do that. Uh, and totally you learn stuff then. And then, and then I started yourself. learning that it's not yeah, as simple as you think simple. it is. Where no. you just get matches that are evenly matched, ish, similar weight, similar records, and mm. and you get time to 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 box. I was getting fights at one day's notice, telling me I was doing cabs <laughs> at night to try to yeah. compensate for my. Because you don't yeah. earn, people don't realise you don't earn yeah, anything yeah, yeah, yeah. until you box. Yeah. And, what, and when you do box at the beginning, you, you only got, get 500 a grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and you pay your tax, you pay your trainer before you, you're left yeah. with a few hundred. Few, wow. Yeah. And you can't survive on that. Mm. Uh, and I was getting thrown in one day's notice uh, against prospects that were. No, no, no. Eight and eight first, yeah. second yeah. fight, second yeah. fight, third Senior fight, AB fourth champion fight. Senior champion, and he's driving down to um, London. And, and I was weighing in in their gym. Yeah. I was way under the weight that was the, the, the limit yeah. that it was. Yeah. And, I, and I was just naive. Like I said, kind of I went there thinking, "Oh, it's okay, you know." Mm. Um, it'll give me a chance to move up in the ratings quick yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm a bit older. You yeah. believe, that's what, that's you're what I was told. You believe in yourself. You believe, you believe yeah. in everywhere, yeah. everywhere, everything they tell you. You believe yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah. do. And uh, you know, the, 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 I was pretty good. That I was always in shape. Yes. Mm. I was always in decent shape. Mm. I wasn't that much over my fighting weight, so I was 
fit and you ready. But it's, but, it's, but it's different, as you all know. Yeah. When you, you know, when you're fighting, you have to have that mentality yes, and get in there. Yes. Um, you know, I was losing both a couple of fights when I went, when I, when I got them short notice fights, but I pulled out with that, you know, I had a decent right yeah. hand and I'd yeah, always, right, right, it, always, it always saved me. And whereas a lot of fighters don't get that one, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I was one of them that was, uh, it was meant to be, or I had you a bit had of a talent. You had a good left know. hook though as well. I had a decent left hook, yeah. yeah. Well, I finished, check, I finished, check, check, I finished check, tackling with two hooks, but yeah, yeah. I started check, cutting check, my right. Check hook, baby. Finish yeah. up with the hooks, yeah. Do you, do you have had good accuracy yeah. and precision? Oh, 100%. I think my timing was, I was distracted. My timing was better than what people thought. million percent. I used to do no dope, but when I hit people, I would have an effect. Like in the amateurs, you don't get many knockouts. I had more than half knockouts, you know, yeah. and stoppages. Yeah. What, um, what, and what you had well, though, was I remember uh, watching you against John Bergman. He had a good jab. Yeah. But you had this really good sense of distance. I remember he chucked a triple jab. That's boxing, and John. You, you slipped yeah. back and hit him with a right hand and yeah, put yeah, that yeah. in the first yeah. knockdown. Yeah, I think, I, think I could, like you say, I, I was very good at judging the distance. I'd yeah. be right in front of you, but I won't get hit easily. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, the, one of the best things that happened to me was I went to France on a short notice one again. Mm. Boxed the French champion, mm. who was an ex-European um, mm. challenger and champion, I think. Mm. And um, he was hitting me with the jabs. Wow. And I was just missing and I wasn't blocking it properly. Mm, 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 mm. In, in one sense, that was probably the best thing that happened to me because it taught me what I needed to the work range. on. Yes. The range. Yeah. And uh, I lost the fight. It was a close fight. The only mm. one I lost as a pro. Mm. And uh, I think it made me a better fighter. Mm. It made me work on the things I needed to. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I probably would have lost later on in my career when yeah. I wouldn't have, or I wouldn't have got the, <coughs> the big fight so yeah. sometimes you know it can be a blessing in disguise yeah. so if you, guys if you haven't watched Jan Bergman be this man go watch oh, it because if you want about Naz Kelly in New York this was a fight I always this say to fight. my boxers now I always say to my boxers I'm not trying to tell your guys to suck eggs yeah but boxing is not about speed and power mm -hmm. Boxing is about Fitness. distance, timing, and accuracy. 100%. This guy had it. 100%. Do you understand me? Yes. This guy had that natural ability yeah. because mm. that's what he had, and that's why mm. he underachieved so mm. much. Mm. Honestly, I can't what express it. What he's doing, him. though. What he's yeah. doing. Yeah, I think I was a yeah. bit upset that yeah. Yeah. things never developed. I, yeah. I kept getting promised fights that were going to happen in abroad, yeah. Yeah. in America. Yeah. They mm. were talking about Vernon Forrest, Shane mm. Mosley, mm. never developed because they got fights and then it mm. just the titles kept changing hands. Mm. I wasn't a big enough name for them to, to box or make any money from. Mm. I wasn't promoted in that way. Too dangerous. Um, I got one in Australia that was possibly going to happen against the European one. Mm. That didn't develop and then I was without a fight for a year. Mm. Mm. I had kids, I had family. Mm. Mm. I'd think about the future. As you get older, you it's start tough, thinking man. about yeah, your health. Yeah, yeah. Let's what, what, go a bit deeper. Let's dig deep mm. about his career. Because everyone knows we're not, we're not silly. You know yeah. what I mean? Let's dig deep. The career. Why do you think your career didn't go right? Which management did he have? The management? Was it the management? Was it the promoter? I think. Did they, I think, did they think that they could, they've got to look at, no disrespect, yeah. the color of your skin. I think I think Where it's part from? a bit a bit of a lot of a lot yeah. of things like you said. A face needs to fit. That's it. Uh, that's a big thing. Yeah. And it needs to sell. That's if it. If you don't sell, if you're not a ticket that's seller, it. I was a decent ticket seller. Yeah. But I wasn't selling but, major. But not today. Yeah. Standard. Not in today's standard. If you're not selling, um, do not happen. Yeah, I think you have to be exciting on each fight. I ha I hold my hand in the e almost every every fight from uh, from the from the title fights mm. starting up was you know mm. I, I had tissue damage, a uh, couple of fractures. Mm. So every time I hit somebody, the right hand would go, mm. I'd have to box them and be more technical. Right. That can be good for the boxers, but it's not as good for, for general public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I still yeah. get a few knockouts. You know, I got the jambo, I got the first defense, was a good knockout. Mm. Another couple of them, I dropped, I dropped, I dropped. You them had all, more than knockout. a few knockouts. Bro. Yeah. You you know, more again, than I had a like knockout. a 60 odd percent ratio as well, so I was decent yeah. in the pros. Pulled it out the back well, every think, time. Like, even now, you can see the knuckles gone there, every and time. Uh, um, and then, and that that sort of hindered me a little bit I think mm -hmm. um, I wasn't as exciting as they probably wanted in TV mm -hmm. I was getting I started late so I was a bit older they probably didn't see a long future for me yeah um, and you had to be vocal I was very quiet at the time you're humble yeah. I was too mm -hmm. probably too quiet yeah. at, early on mm -hmm. I didn't have that much confidence or belief in myself until yeah. a bit later mm -hmm. uh, and then doing all the interviews on Sky and other things helped mm -hmm. me develop that becoming mm -hmm. a coach made me even better and otherwise you know I would never Talk as much as I am now, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I never used to wow. uh, talk that much, but that's, uh, that helped. That, that's because you're with us. That's why. Yeah, and I think I think <laughs> oh, it helps me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well, but, but does, generally, I think I think as you get older, you get more mature. You yeah. you build the confidence, that's and it, yeah, uh, yeah. and I think 
you need I needed to be a bit more vocal back in when I was boxing. That would have helped. Uh, but I These think there wasn't all the social taught. media. Well, 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 yeah. we did. Yeah. Brendan taught us this. Yeah, but he we did, were young but, though. But when we were young, we didn't really think yeah, of this. Yeah, I mean, that, Brendan, Brendan, it's not Brendan only fighting, helped me. It's not Brendan only fighting, helped me so much around. with my confidence, you, you know what I mean? you got to build that up. Yeah, yeah. Talking and being, like, you know, like, we care yeah. like a he, house. He was telling us all that, you know. Yeah. you got any good publicity, bad publicity, it sells. Yeah. And, and that's what he used to tell yeah. us. Yeah. I don't know about you, Jab, but the way I feel, you'll yeah. feel it, you'll yeah. feel it. So what I'm saying is, where I went wrong, I've got to get the guy. I was the dummy for that guy, so I want my guy to get that right. So you, yeah, do, yeah. do you want to, you want to make champions, don't oh, you? Yeah. Honestly, what you're I, doing I, now, you, you're, you feel you're in your heart, right. you want them to do right. so yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, yeah, we've, look, look after we feel, we feel hard done that we didn't get the looking after, we didn't get the advice that we, yeah, we can give to others. And our experiences that we can pass on to the younger generation and the you. young fighters that are with us, training with us. We're constantly talking to them and telling them, Unfortunately, a lot of them just take it into one ear and out the other thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, what's he talking? That, that's how we well, was. I suppose we were a bit like that. Yes. Vernon you know, told us and we'd like, yeah, yeah. He's, mm, mm, and we'd laugh mm, it off. But yeah. now, just like your peers, you mm, remember yeah. things that they told you ah, there you go. 20 yeah. years when ago. Younger, yeah. As you get older and, you and you have kids, kids yourself, you're, you're telling tell them the same thing. Same and you're like, wait, 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 shit, what am I saying? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, yeah. And that's the same thing when we're passing on our experiences to some of the younger lot. And I and I see it. And I'm doing the same things that I might not have liked. Things like Brendan said, things my other yeah. coach said, Brett yeah. Fidel, um, uh, my managers, anybody, good, mm. bad, whatever it was, we're passing yeah. that on and, and you see it there and you're like, yeah. It's like with John though. I know John can bring a lot to the table with these, with these trainers yeah. because even now, I mean, back in the 90s, early 2000s, we yeah. was way behind with all, all this, <coughs> uh, you know, fitness, dieting, mm. conditioning. Everything. John, John now, nah, what he knows, he can bring so much more to the table Very good. and to bring it out of that boxer. Mm -hmm. What are you saying, John? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I, we all went through some in boxing and we all went into having a certain mindset of what we want to achieve. And then when it doesn't work out, unfortunately, some guys become alcoholics or they don't know what to do after boxing. Mm. But I were like, I'm not going to, I don't, my mindset is I don't want anything to be wasted. How can I do something better? How can I help someone so they don't go through the same situation? And I knew for me, I mean, I was, now I'm 13 and a half stone, right? I was 10 stone at the end when I was in the well, 10 stone at five. Yeah. I'm trying to make the lighter weight. <laughs> and, you know, I'm trying to make nine, nine, nine 40 was clever. I anywhere near that weight because well. I should have been naturally bigger, right? Yeah. So what I do with nutrition now with the fighters, I teach them how to do a calorie deficit and it's a, it's a game of maths. So you start with your calories three months out at a certain level and then you bring the calories down slower as the fighter burns his fat off his body but not his muscle, yeah, keeping yeah, yeah. rehydrated until fight, fight week, take the seven pounds of water, no more than seven pounds of water. I ain't done it. And his performance is not affected. But what we did, what did we do? Starved we just, ourselves. We starved ourselves. Fasting. Yeah. Sweat, sweat, so sweat, so what sweat can I, What can I say, John? Can I say this to everybody who's tuning in? It's not about making the lightest weight you 100%. can. Natural. It's about feeling good. Right. Feeling yeah. good and you know. being in great condition. You. Yeah. you don't need to be the lightest no. you can make. Because we used to make 9-9. Nine, nine. Nine, nine and it should have been a light middleweight. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Easily, what yeah. are you trying to kill yourself yeah, for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Feel good, be in good condition. Too many people got injured because of that yeah. as yeah. well. Yeah. I was so you're not going to be stronger at the lighter weight. You're not going to be stronger at the lighter weight. No, 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 Pacquiao's yeah. shown us that. Yeah. I mean, I was 13 Pacquiao's stone. Pacquiao's my size. Five and I made six. 11 stone yeah. six. Made 11 stone yeah. and yeah. was knocking For out English Oscar title. De La Hoya. I did it. Mm. Oh. But um, I'm going to ask you something. Because I feel something in it, you know what I mean? I, we've all been through it. I've been through it. You know when you're boxing, yeah? And you walk at you, you're going to have a fight. You know the management, the promoters, mm. the whoever behind you didn't help you to get to where you need to get to. Yeah, yeah. So when you're fighting that opponent, mm. as soon as you just call your name to walk out in the arena, your mindset, how do you feel? You feel like that aggression, that anger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every it's punch you through, even when you knocked him out, yeah. you go in the corner. Like, ah! Yeah, I think you sometimes, sometimes you want to That's be true to people. Yeah. Yeah. That, are, that you feel not, are using you or yeah, yeah. not have got your best interest. Yeah, not. You think, right, you think that I'm just going to... I'm going to show you. I'm just going to hear as a yeah, name. You yeah. think I'm just going to be an opponent and, yeah. and I'm going to show and you that. You, I'm gonna, so it used to drive me and, and used to make me 
push good. harder. Mm. You know, you, you knew um, what they're doing. They the, knew, yeah, you yeah. knew. As I, as I learned, as I learned the sport and I learned the politics of it, I thought, you know what? Mm. I'm not letting anybody use me. If I lose, I lose. But mm. I'm gonna give it everything. Everything. Mm. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to prove up them beat them at their game and beat my opponent and mm. and it was a double one you know it made yeah. me feel even better when you do yeah. prove them wrong and it's you know, like, most of the time it did it did work my way but it's mm. like it's like yeah. they, they get opponent to they they get what is inside job we all know they're getting yeah. paid before whatever mm. and then they, they get an opponent yeah, to yeah. beat you really that, they that's, they that's, what, that's what that's what people make up but that gets you angry says you know what is nah nah but if you do do what you say out to do, and you pull up all the pull up all the stops, uh, and do him over. It's gonna happen for you. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna happen for you. They'll there's start the, pulling up. There's a chance. All the other problem is they they they'll but put you with the somebody else. <laughs> that's there you even, go. That's even better. The, and then somebody else. That's even better. Yeah. Because if you're not relevant, if you're not selling the, tickets, if the you're picture, not the face, don't need you. You're just gonna keep getting used, mm. and sooner or later, they'll get you. And that's part of the reason yeah. I left the Ingles. I thought, you know what? I'm not getting big chances here. Not being managed properly. Yeah. I'm no. not getting managed properly. They were losing mm. Frank Warren. They were losing fighters at the time. Because Prince Christian the... left them. Mm. We were just making and then, the numbers. Then I went. I got a few more chances um, with Tommy Gilmore, who was my manager, who worked with um, Barry Hearn, who was mm. with you know Eddie's father. They weren't doing that much in boxing at the time, mm. uh, but it gave me that opportunity to well, they did, box for something. They, yeah. They did have grinding from doing good things to good fighters, and they yeah. did have television before. That's right. And yeah. then. The, you was back in with them and then it started building yeah. again and you had yeah. some great, well, great had, had a, fights. I had a good four or five years at the top, you know. Yeah. I travelled, um, met a lot of new people. Looked after. Yeah. Bo boxing, yeah, got yeah. looked after well. Yeah. Uh, and and you was earned, a little bit, earned a little bit as well. Oh, so. That's good, that's IBO, good. You was the IBO's best fighter one year as well. I was IBO fighter of the year. You yeah, got to America to, for that. I went to, sorry? You got to America for that. I went to America. Brilliant. And... Uh, Ali had a weekend there, but I met, <laughs> met a few people. Met Don King, wow. met a few times. Don King, wow, Tony Tarver, yeah, yeah. Um, a few of the, a few of the um, boxers that were there and uh, boxing writers and, and was Tarver the IBO he like he was, yeah, he was John, who else time. had the IBO yeah. title? Some good fighters. Yeah. Roy yeah. Jones had it. Roy yeah, Jones yeah. had the IBO. Um, yeah. Not did Prince Nassim yeah. Ahmed had the IBO. I think he did. Yeah, yeah. Last fight. Last fight. I, I yeah. I even got the uh, diamond crystal drink. Wow. After five defenses with my name engraved on it and. On the back it says IBA champion, world champion on the front. Nice. Where is it? Where's uh, the ring? You should have bought that in. It's at home. Next time, we'll come back next time. So, do you ever wear that ring? Or are you yeah, just, yeah, just having a box? No, no, I'm always wearing it when I go to weddings, functions, yeah. anyway. You got it? Oh, it's out there. It's like one of them American football rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's valued. Yeah, it's valued. It's got a diamond and a, half, uh, a diamond. carat and a half diamonds, and it's wow. 22 carat gold. Wow. So, uh, it's worth a bit. It's a good price. Wow. Yeah, it must be worth it. 10, 15, 20, right so, man. Uh, maybe more. Wow. So, all right. So, yeah, I'll um, edit that bit out. We don't yeah. want to get it wrong. So, <laughs> you finished boxing now. How do you get the gym? How do you start the gym? How, what what, what you know, time? Um, when you decide to start what, the gym? Once I retired, I, I, I didn't feel I was complete. I yeah, still, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was always. Like any boxer. Like every boxer. 2004, you know, was, wasn't I was, it, I, had a, I had a chat with a few promoters, uh, uh, Maloney and um, Maloney. another one. That was my manager. And, uh, <laughs> and they were like, oh, you can have a four round combat fight. 2004, wasn't it? Last fight. Was, 2000, that was my last yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and they weren't really promising me anything or guaranteeing me anything. And I felt like all they're doing is going to use my name again. That's all. And I thought, you know what? I'm older. Step I've got my, a bit of my senses. My kids are getting older. Mm. I've got a little bit of money saved from when my fight for the last few fights. Mm. I'm not going to earn millions. They're not going to give me any big chances. That's right. Is there any point? It's your health. Let's health, be realistic. Yeah, and yeah. you can't be the same as you was two, three, four years ago yeah. as you get older. Yeah. Yes, you're wiser and you're more um, experienced. But well, the it's, it's, it's the sharpness. Mm. It's a young man's game box. Yes, yes, yes. You lose that slightly, slight reflex. The last mm. couple of fights mm. I had, I got dropped in them. Mm. Flash knockdowns. Mm. Bad ones in the in the Bergman. I got up to win both fights. It's only going to get harder though, isn't it? It's, it's a it's a sign. It's it's to you got hard. Possibly, you yeah. Had a lot hard, and the boxers yeah. are always the last person. Even now, mm. I think no, I can come back. Yeah, no, yeah beat of course you do. Yeah. It's a boxer. That's, a different, that's yeah, yeah. a different level. Yeah, yeah. That's a totally different level to what yeah. we were at yeah, back yeah, in the day. Yeah. Uh, and I thought, you know, I I, I got to be realistic, retire, but I, I wasn't happy with it. And uh, well, I got a lot of family and friends asking me to do coach the kids, do something for the kids. The council people and friends that were in the council mm. um, getting me classes in troubled areas. That's really good. Then I hired a building myself, 
a, a nice big big hall. It's good. And uh, and I started classes there with no equipment. Yeah, I yeah. remember. I seen on Facebook. Yeah, but no man, this is, this is seventeen so years ago. Yeah, no yeah. equipment, mm. just a big hall. A big hall. My own couple of gloves, skipping ropes, mm. and technique. I followed it, you on it, Facebook. It, it brought me yeah. back to doing the, the, the techniques, the yeah. basics. Yeah. And mm. and we got good good. 30 odd kids coming there regularly. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, and I wasn't charging well, what just What area was that, Jeff? What area? That was in Radford, Radford Unity yeah, Complex. Because yeah, yeah. we're, 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 yeah, we're in the ghetto now. We're in the ghetto. We were there for about a year and a half. <laughs> and, then, and then a friend of mine said, I've got this old building in the council if you want it. Mm. It was dirt cheap. Yeah. It was big as this, bigger than this. It was set up as a martial arts gym. No mm. roof, no Not flooring. No roof. Yeah. He made a video of that as well on Facebook. It was just like a plastic sheet, you know, on the roof. But it was amazing. Two wow. changing rooms, mm. a nice big oval size bigger than this. Mm. And I thought, wicked. We, we, you got we, a show we, in we, there, didn't you? Mm. We had no, a show no, in there. We didn't have a show there. Yeah. Yeah, me and my family, we set it up. We brought these mats that were very expensive, but oh, these they've lasted me yeah. 17 years now. Yeah, yeah. And you know what it is? Yeah, it's we've good got to have some mats 15 years, yeah. Got some. So we yeah, covered the floor in. We had all these bags there, got everything set up. It was amazing. We had 50 kids there at one stage regularly. And it was one of the best gyms, but unfortunately, they condemned the building, they kicked us out of it randomly, just on the, on the day, mm. two years after we got it. Mm. Then I moved to another building, kicked up a bit of force in the news, on the papers. Mm. And uh, the council helped us find another place in Radford, temporary, but we ended up being there for two years. Mm. Uh, and then we got this place and uh, I was a bit weary about this place, it was a bit of a bad reputation, but yeah. it's been amazing. And the, wow. and the difference that we made in the area is amazing. We're working with a few organizations now. We're just, um, we're working with Knives Down, Gloves Up, preventing kids and telling them Brilliant. the dangers of knife Excellent. crime. Excellent. That's what I'm talking I'm about. Just, with a friend, I've just started my own organization, Power Up. You're going to be hearing about that soon. Mm. Um, we're going to again, details, we're gonna be working, details, mate. We'll we're going to be working that. in the mm. underprivileged, troubled areas, mm. all yeah, around Nottingham, mm. helping good. kids, mentoring them, um, trying is, to get them into education courses and stuff, so that's going to be happening in the, the next few thing. months. Kids need these. Let me, ask, um, let me ask you a question. I really want to. I want to slip this in. You met the Queen. Oh, uh, that, you know what? That was another shock. I was just on, on the verge of retirement. Mm. I got a letter, and I was like, "Somebody's winding me up." <laughs> your, your, it's your, your Majesty's pleasure for this, this invitation. <laughs> You thought it was James Bond? And I thought, flipping out, what is this? Somebody's taking the piss. Why? <laughs> I couldn't understand it, so I rang my manager up. Yeah. And he goes, have you got a we, we put your name forward. He goes, I've been trying for years, I've not got it. Mm. He goes, you look here, little sod. And, uh, and then me and my family went down, my wife, my, my dad and mum. That's massive, Amazing you know? day. Wow, what was it like? We, we, we got escorted from the gates <laughs> into the palace by the by them all guards and... They closed the gates behind us, everybody, all these people taking photos. Wow. Went in, it was all immaculate, amazing, all like wow. vinyl and nice wow. furniture. Yeah. Um, told us the procedure, how you go to the Queen, you you, you bow, well, you, you if do, she yeah. talks to you, you talk to her, as soon as she lets your hand go, you back off. Wow. And uh, she said a few words, asked me when my boxing career was, how, how when I won the title and stuff. Wow. And uh, we got a few pictures and a little video of me oh, nice. from... From back then, two thousand five, two thousand four, five, it was yeah. somewhere around yeah. then. Yeah. Um, so it was amazing. Then another little achievement, another little yeah. memory. Well, there you go. Um, you've for, for my boxing how, career. How many, how many people do you think go through a life and experience that? Not a lot. That? People, it's massive, Jeff. Not I still don't realize. I still don't believe that it happened. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of crazy, well, you know. Well, yeah. I, well, well, um, I, well. I went, for, I went for dinner with her one time. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> my man lies. So yeah, yeah, dinner, man. Yeah, it's a wicked day. What, what's wicked the future for, for you, Jav? What are you saying? What, what's going on? What's yeah, well, we've the future? Been, uh, me, we've, we've been involved in this gym now for uh, 15, 16 years or yeah. so. And, uh, and I'm just loving being involved. Enjoying it. After, yeah, after boxing, it's, it's been part of my life for the last 30 years. Yeah. Um, you know, not as serious, but the last 10, 20 years or so, boxing has been my life. So I'm just eating, sleeping, boxing. So to be doing it as a job. Have you been professionals? Um, we've got a couple. Uh, we've got another professional. Well, a professional that just started. He was a uh, um, East Midlands champion. Yeah. And he's been with us for about seven, eight years. Oh, of course, so you got your own pro. So what are you? Yeah. What, what are you involved in in the pro? Um, my my other coach, trainer? Fidel, who was coaching me. Yeah. He's to, he got his professional license. Yeah. Because um, I was doing so much, I didn't want to get my professional license and not right. give him the time. Like, yeah, 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 like yeah. I didn't get the time yeah, from yeah. certain people. And I thought, you know what? Let let him Fidel give him a bit of time. And I'll be here for him as well when he needs to. Yeah. Um, but I can't commit to all the amateurs and all the stuff I'm doing, plus my family yeah. life, mm -hmm. and, and do that. Yeah. But now, 
my kids are older. My youngest is twenty one, yeah. nearly. Yeah. There. Wow. Um, my oldest got married last year. Yeah. So it's like I've got time myself. So now. you got you got the license. So, well, you so got the, the second year, so I'm training. going for my license. Yeah, yeah, I've got my and, seconds. Uh, yeah. I've had a lot of people asking me, have you got a professional license? So we will get fighters coming to us, I think. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that'll be the next step, I think. Yeah, uh, definitely. Enough. You, nice. You've got a lot to, to give. A lot to give. Yeah, you a have lot. a lot to give. You will. Yeah, we've got a nice little team now. You know, I've got my sons involved. Mm. Yeah. They've, t- they've coached up. I've got a few other people coached up that are ex, um, well, gang members and yeah. into the wrong crowd, but now they've changed their life change around. And come on. They're helping it's amazing, uh, yeah. show the show. Change and you, you need to understand we're stuff, a, we're yeah. a rough part of Nottingham here, yeah. and he's doing it in the heart of Saint Anne's. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he's right. representing. Uh, uh, you know, so we've got my old coach Fidel Smith, mm-hmm. who's ex British. Uh, Unbelievable so set right. champ- yeah, uh, middle- British champion. Is my car safe outside? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty safe. All right, we're making yeah. sure you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a nice little team. You know, he's kind of retired now and he's just he's, he's living in the gym like me almost, you are you know? alright sir we, we were at a show Good we were at a show last night <laughs> yeah. we had a win and a loss last night yeah yeah um, so it's, we're just living the life man it's, it's, nice, it's nice. wicked to be involved we're loving yeah. it and, uh, like the gym man it's, and nice. we're, it's we're, we're looking for the future yeah you know what we, you, you guys have been involved a long time as well you yeah, don't get yeah. many gyms that are well, similar to this, yeah. this you know, we've, been very, we've been very blessed yeah, very yeah, fortunate yeah. we have put a lot of hard work in like I said it yeah. didn't come over, overnight we've been doing this for 16, 17 years now but I've Jeff, got you've, got, it right you've now. got you've got that spit and sawdust effect as well, though. Yeah. It's not mm. too posh. It's no, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You've got here. a nice, clean, yeah. proper gym, mm. but you're walking here you know and it's, it's in the air. Mm. He's sweating dust. I think, I think we're both from the old school. Yeah, it? that's what so I'm saying. This is all you need. It's we're trying need. to implement a little bit of the new generation stuff. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Uh, John will teach us a bit more and we'll get there some there advice, get some advice from him with the nutrition and yeah. the personal training. Bring that, in. that is uh, your guy. Uh, and, 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 you know, we, you've got to adapt a little bit now for the next yeah. generation. We can't yeah, stay yeah. St- stuck in our own ways and say thing. we are right in what we're doing. You know, yeah, we've yeah. done things wrong. Mm, we've learned from our mistakes, yes. and hopefully, yeah. we can pass on and learn yeah. Yeah. new things ourselves and, uh, mm. and pass it on to the next generation. We never stop learning. We never stop learning. That's why I tell guys all the time. I say, look. We might have been more chamber, but we're still learning ourselves. Yeah. We're learning a new trade now mm. as a coach. Mm. I'm learning mm. so many new things, you know, I've made mm. so many mistakes, but I'm learning still, you know. It's, it's, like, it's like your mistakes now, you'll put it onto your professional now. Mm. Exactly. And you that's will, right. that's you right. will, you will get a champion. Yeah. I know you will. Oh, 100%. We'll be back here and you'll say, I've got a new champion. Inshallah, you will have one. That's, that's Definitely, yeah. God willing. Yeah. So that's don't forget us when you're rich and famous. <laughs> no, no, you won't. Don't forget the poor people. I want a jumper. I want your jumpers. Yeah, yeah. These, yeah. These, yeah. Jumpers, these jumpers have just been made. But, so, oh, yeah, can I have a look? Can I look at him, please? Yes. Can I have a closer look? Yeah. Come forward, please. Camera, nice. ma- camera, camera man, come in. Can you show the jumper? Bring the camera in and just bring the camera in and yeah, record this for us. I can add the camera man, record on your phone. That's a nice jumper. They're this, jumpers. this is the production team going to take this picture here. Yeah. Did, you haven't recorded that, I can. Record it, record it. After that, Fika. Turn it sideways. After Turn that. Turn it sideways, Fika. See how we've got these fucking final rounds on? Zoom in. My, man here, my, my on. manager, see him there with the Chicago <laughs> Bulls out on. What's all that about? We need some match, John. Well, it's, I've got it at work. We've got it at work. I've got it at work. i £20 hats coming. Turn the phone sideways. Yeah. Just, just take a record of that. Street just a close up on the hoodie. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna right. start film. Yes. Let's have a look at this merchandise, man. We'll buy a jumper. I want a pink one, please. <laughs> He's got, look at that billion dollar <laughs> smile as well. Yeah. yeah. Right. Look at the. Let's have a look at the blue. The we can jumpers. do the audience yeah. later. Boom. Jab, is Anybody your, wants one of these jumpers? The hit us up. Hit us up. I think it might be the same height. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, a friend, a friend of mine. Jawed as well, getting in. Somebody used to um, work in some printing place. And uh, he was training here with us, and we asked him about some printing, some big pictures for the merchandise. We brought this pound stuff, for pounds. Uh, all this pound for pounds so for that, so, 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 a few years back. I like that. And we never really, and we never really went and, and pushed forward for it with it, you know. No, I just left and it. He there. Said, oh, I no, what you know, it's who you know, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He goes, I can it's do nice. stand up picture for you if you want, and uh, and look after you. So I goes, oh, let's try it. And he exactly. made a really nice cutout card. Board. Exactly. It was wicked. Nice. That was. We we could talk more, more all can, day, man. couldn't we? Very good. Hey, listen, yeah. I'm so privileged to be here. Mm. I've met you on Facebook. Yeah. I've seen some of your fights on TV. I haven't followed you, but I have. I, I just I appreciate it. It's different yeah. when you face each other. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, being you here. Guys, you know, I'm always a lovely there. fella, mate. No, no, maybe I would yeah. chat a bit on the phone. Yeah. Promises, the Jav. Yeah. Like I said, I, I know you're not even a quarter of the way mm. through your career. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you're going to take 
guys, places, you know, you're doing great you've things in the before. community. Mm. Can we come back here? Oh, of course, you know I mean? any, in any the time. future. We can, go Madison, we can go to Madison Square Garden with him when he goes. <laughs> yeah. Hi. We can be in fact camp crew with us. Yeah, yeah, Is that yeah. right, yeah? Hopefully you guys will be big things in big Definitely, fish Definitely, man. Fish. God willing, man. Trust me, we will. Do you, me, me, will. Do you, do you remember it. Edwin Cleary, who we yeah, yeah. asked you? Edwin's doing well. I'm going to connect you to Edwin. He's got a really good amateur gym going. He's got a, a kick or loose with us on GB. All right. Heavyweight guy. He's coming through. He's got Matty Harris, and he's doing really good things. Yeah. I think we could connect. Sparring with guys. Joshua the other yeah. day. Sparring with Joshua and yeah. Roger, yeah. Yeah. Matt's him on the Facebook. The yeah. kid, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've not I seen him for a long time, but I remember yeah. him. Yeah, we he's just lost all his hair as well. He, <laughs> he was losing his hair when we were there, though. Know. He's wow. got a couple of balls. Yeah, I think we wow. boxed on the same show a couple of times, Edwin and me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but then. He's still funny. Still yeah, a funny he's still, man. Yeah, he's, he's a comedian. He's about <laughs> 16 stone now. He's a heavyweight now. Wow. Yeah, he don't fight middleweight no more. <laughs> yeah, he was, about, he was about middleweight. About yeah. Enjoyed it, John. Wow. Yeah, it's good. good. I've enjoyed it, and I can't wait to get a second part to this. Yes, you know what I mean, so 100. No, you're doing, doing great that. things, man. It's, 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 it's good to have boxers doing this that actually understand and know mm. what's going on, and they've Definitely. been there and mm. they know it. So it's coming from a different angle. You know what I mean? Mm. It's it's. And I think the boxers understand it. they can feel your mm. um, love and and, and, and and do you know what's going to happen now? Yeah. Boxing game will change now because we're bringing in something different. From, exactly. From yeah, there's from there's loads we, of people doing different things. Tra- we half of them haven't been there. We're, done not, it. we're not going to treat them like that. We're going to treat them differently. Yeah. And we're going to develop some good boxes and that's, champions. That's the, that's the difference. The God willing, that's what the we difference. want. What we want from the podcast. Anyone tuning into this is that we don't want to interview. We want to chat. We don't want to ask you the same old questions like. How's training camp gone? Yeah, yeah. Are you looking forward to fighting? We don't. We want to chat. The cameras, as far as we're concerned, we're, the, we're not on camera right now. Just having a chat with people from the past and the present. People coming through, connecting. It's all pe- love, baby. It's all love. Yeah. Connecting people to each other yeah. and, and giving the power back I think, to the I think, fighters. I think a lot of Definitely. the public don't realise what boxers go through right. Right. and how they are used and right. messed about Done. and the way they. Right abused in a sense 100% and, 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 and you, yeah it does. And, and, and the way they get pressured into taking fights that they shouldn't be taking mm. the way they get pressured right. to make certain weights yeah fight the wrong kind of fights right um Lose fights that they shouldn't reason. be fighting at the last minutes yeah. and stuff Lose a fight for a certain reason yeah. to, to get you know, it's not, next time it's not fixed but it's almost fixed to a point yeah. where they're guaranteed to lose mm, mm. Uh, and stuff like that and mm. this is what the public don't We're understand against it we're make them understand yeah. listen this is for the the be hardcore people watching this but this is for the public sometimes you'll see the household name and you put in your mind that mm. that is the best person because they've been part yeah. of the household yeah. but there's guys like Jawid who would have beat all them household names who didn't get the opportunity. Yeah. So Two we're or gonna, three times. We're going to be making you understand the game. Some of these so-called journeymen that have had hundreds of fights and stuff, there we go. they don't get the respect. One they're fighting every time. They're keeping the game going. You yeah. have to they, be a one-off they to get, do They that get job. in there every day, every week, one without job, yeah. any notice, without 100%. preparing, fighting guys that are unbeaten at Keep eight to ten mm-hmm. weeks' notice mm-hmm. for a fight prepared, mm-hmm. and they'll put their health and lives mm-hmm. at risk mm-hmm. well, just going. to keep the game going. The game don't the, go without them. Keep the promoters yeah. happy. Yeah. Yes, they earn a little bit of money, but it's not worth what they're yeah. risking in That's my right. eyes. No. And they don't get the respect. This is where you guys can help them That's right. um, mm-hmm. get get that Very recognition, historic. get that respect. Make mm-hmm. them feel like they're special in some way. With all they've ever... You, being felt like he's a piece mm. of meat. Yeah, Love yeah, that. Yeah, and, yeah. and I think 90% of boxers, or a lot of us boxers, feel like we're just being used as a piece of meat. Yeah, yeah. And we don't, we, we're coming to the game thinking, oh, this is a lovely game, it's a respectful yeah. game. From outside. There's, there's mm. all this respect, there's pride. There's no, there's no thingy there. It's all about favoritism. It's all about mm. who can make the most money business. out of certain business. Business. It's all a business. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and, and all the promoters, my... you'll get the odd one that might care about you, but most of them are there just for... Mm. For the time you're going to make them money. Just as soon as you're not making them money, you're as long as you get that good stable team around you, yeah, yeah. good people mm. yeah. that you can trust, you know, mm. stick with it. I think I, think I was, no. I was look, not lucky. I was sensible as I got out mm. at the right time. Mm. I didn't stay there. Yes, I, I would have probably if I got uh, off of mm. for a decent money. Mm. But the money they always entice you with a bit of money, and you, mm. and and ninety yeah. percent of the boxers don't make much money at the beginning. No. Mm. So they always feel like they're behind and they need to make mm, something to cover them. So mm. we don't have anything to back up us mm. or, or or do anything after boxing. We're, we're stuck in a boxing limbo. And mm. as soon as mm. you retire, like you said, people get depressed. Mm. They go yeah. to drugs, drink. Mm. You hear this all the time. You get the odd ones that do well like yourself mm. and go into something else. Mm. Mm. You know, I, I feel lucky and fortunate that I got into this. Had mm. I not had this, 
I was, I was probably depressed and thinking, oh no, I didn't get the big you chances. You made it happen, Jeff. Mm. Uh, you made it happen. happen. Yeah. Mm. Strong man. And, and, and what, where I got to, I'm kind of made it happen in, mm. in a sense. You, you've yeah. had to still work so yeah. hard. You yeah. know what I mean? People don't realise, I was working till three or four in the morning in the mm. cabs. Yeah. Yeah. In the cabs. Jog- and doing Jogging this. And doing at this. three o'clock in the morning or four wow. o'clock in the morning. Wow. That's dedication. Just to keep myself in a bit of shape. Because mm. I, I had a family to feed, and I was like, mm. I'm not ma- making any money in the ta- in the cabin. Mm. I'm just covering my expenses yeah, yeah, and my expenses, bills. Yeah. Mm. I better keep myself in shape. And it's also helping. Just in case I get a call tomorrow. Mm. Just yeah, in case true. I get a call the next day. Mm. I want to be in a bit of shape. And I'm sitting down in the cab every night. Mm. My legs are like weak, and wow. I have to keep myself mm. a little bit active. Keep them. I was jogging three o'clock in the morning in the night, dark, around woods area, woody areas, in the mm. nights, in the mm. snow. People don't see all that, and and the pain and the and the hardship you go through and then sell tickets yeah. on top of that just just to make extra money mm. yeah, exactly that's hard as well yeah. selling the tickets you know i had luckily i had a good family that helped me yeah and friends that mm. went out of the way but i had to do a lot of it as well mm. to keep my face yeah. in the, you know yeah uh, but you, yeah. you know you're, you're trying to train put all the time in there then run out go and see people do this do that they're sell trying tickets. to sleep mm. it's, a, it's a tough and life eat as well yeah. eat right eat the right eating time. right is the big thing as we said before uh, if it was either easy everybody would be doing that's it that's right exactly it's we're like gonna make now. we're gonna make the jet ge- anyone who tunes into the show is not just going to listen to what you see. We're going to make you understand the things you don't see. Yeah. Because you only see 5% of it. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. You only see mm. one part of the puzzle. You don't see the, uh, the other side of it. The managers, the promoters, they're the real winners. The fighters have a dream. And their dream's killed not by the, ta- the talent they didn't have. It's by the politics in the game. So mm. we're going to make you more that, that, aware. That's, that's well said. Yeah, that's we're going to make you more you aware of what well goes done. on. Because you need the bigger picture to understand why guys like this... Mm. And Fidel's coming up. Didn't get their opportunity. Because <laughs> right? Fidel definitely on, sir, Henry Water, who's from shine. my hometown of Leeds. Yeah, Leeds, <laughs> Leeds man, Yorkshire, <laughs> Yorkshire. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about that. With that, I think, Isham, you gotta, you got to take us out. you got to take us out. <laughs> you got to take us out. Yeah. We be, they, listen if you've enjoyed this don't worry we listen might be, it's going to yeah. get better Ooh. like and share guys like and share like we and might share. be back Comment. we might be back down here every month subscribe that's, we don't need to do that because we're going to do an intro video that's but right. that's all good we that tune there. oh another, another thing can we just plug this I've got a show on the 6th of Feb in two weeks um, so show your support tell guys the tell them the details, details. Tell come them on it's the 13th of Feb sorry 6th of Feb 6th of Feb <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 2.30 start at the Brendan Lawrence Sports Centre which is next door to uh, our gym yeah. um, we had brilliant response on our last show hopefully yeah. we'll see you all guys and any sponsors that would like to sponsor our show come on. get in touch get come behind on. get behind so, this get b- Did, Nottingham cool to stand down? up and so, get behind you your boy that would be amazing if you guys we'll come, come down, down to the show come, come down definitely. to the show and you're, you're, you're is welcome. it amateur show yeah as well. amateur yeah, show amateur show definitely we'll uh, we'll I think we've got a title fight on the show as well perfect um, so it would be amazing we've got a lot of young um, up and coming talent some, perfect a lot of new new guys yeah. of kids the as well yeah. kids yeah. coming up yeah. growing up you know what I mean um, we've got a couple of female fighters on there oh, um, so it'll be a, a brilliant night to box our shows are more of a family event yes yes Families, ladies, all of them coming down, Um, and some great food there as well. Food, food. Did you say food? (laughs) We're dining. Halal, yeah. All halal. Halal, halal. halal. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Let's go. Take us out, Ish. Yes. So what I'm saying is, get that tune on. So I'm calling us out now. We're in Nottingham. Javi Khalik's gym. Mm, Too sleek. Too sleek, Khalik. Welcome. Hey. Excellent interview. Thank you. Thank you, guys. My guy, D. Donovan wish you, Smiley. Wish you all that, the that best, man. That's, that's, that's My main man, Abigail. John Keenan. Myself, Asian Pickering. Javid Too Sleek Kelly. Big we're shout gone. out to the production yeah. team, Ficker Keenan behind the Welcome. camera. And I don't know, we've got a new recruit as well. JP. And a new recruit JP. behind Asian's uh, <laughs> daughter in the there background. Show the pitch on the camera. you got to show her. Mm-hmm. Wait. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And we out. Right. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification button. We out. Alright. Alright.